So just something to keep in mind about blue morphos, especially the Morphodidius, which is the bigger one, is that sometimes the wings are so big that the glass won't completely cover the wing. Um, and the upper corner of the forewing will kind of be left over the side of the spreading board. So uh, you can cause crease marks that way. So just be careful when laying down your glass and when taking it off. Other than that, it's same routine, pinch that abdomen. These you really, really want to pinch the abdomen. And you will sometimes feel that when you're using your forceps to kind of spread those wings downwards, that you will feel a little bit of cracking. So pinch the abdomen as hard, as, well, pretty hard while you're doing that spreading downwards to prevent them from breaking. Then once you get the pin right through the center of the upper abdomen, straight through, you can go ahead and place it on your pinning board in the groove designated for it. Once you're done putting the glass on the wings, I kind of just drop them on instead of just placing them on that way. There's less of a risk of them smearing the scales of the wings or tearing off any of the scales. But go ahead and secure that body in place with some extra pins so the body doesn't move when you go to move the wings. Go ahead and take your pin and find the veins on the wings and try to carefully, very carefully move the wing without sticking the pin all the way through. Just, just kind of poke at that vein to get that wing moving. It'll take a little bit of getting used to. You have to kind of get a feel for it. And you can do that with both the forewing and the hindwing until you get it into the position and the angle that you want it to be. Do the same with the other side. And then you can go ahead and start securing the antennae and by using the cross method, just kind of finagling until you get them just straight. You kind of have to feel it out depending on the antennae that you have and if they're curly or not. <laughs> 